Frank, good to have you here late in Orient. Obviously, it was a bit of a um, frantic deadline day, so we saw you come in um, fairly late on in the window. But first day at the club, how's it been? Yeah, great. Um, the boys have been very welcoming to me. Um, first session, yeah, a bit tough in the legs, really, but um, enjoyable. You see the boys are recovering from the game the other day against Bradford. It's a shame that I couldn't have signed early enough to be involved in that squad. But uh, looking forward to the games coming up. Obviously, mm. Saturday against Colchester, I can't be involved in that. So looking forward to Exeter now for me. Sweet tweet as well when uh, Prattley put that into, yeah, into yeah. the top corner. <laughs> what do you think of the game? Yeah, no, um, I thought the boys boys done well, really. Um, it's a tough place to go. They're a big club. I think they're just above us in the league. So, um, yeah, tough game. I thought the boys done really well. Got the goal. See Pratt scored. See, I tweeted just perhaps. Uh, see people, Could have had double meaning there. Yeah, yeah. I see people <laughs> trying to half guess what I was saying, but um, no, obviously I played with Pratt a bit uh, a few years ago now, so not happy for him to score. Want us to win, obviously, but uh, the draw we take the draw, and hopefully can build on that, you know, get some more goals on on the weekend possibly, and um, obviously when I get to the the squad, hopefully I can help add to that. Mm. So coming into the team, obviously, like you mentioned, um, Saturday you you won't be able to won't be able to feature because it's against your um, right. parent club. Um, but coming in, coming into Orion, what was your kind of um, thoughts behind the move? No, great club from afar. Um, I've always got a great vibe and feel. You know, not, obviously not having played there. Um, from players I know uh, over the years with you know Josh Wright and uh, McEnany was manager here as well. Uh, you know these boys. I, I know these boys. Um, always just got a great feel. Obviously with Justin Edinburgh as well. Uh, he's my manager at Gillingham, so just got a great feel from afar. Obviously, when the opportunity came to come here, I really jumped at it. To be fair, mm. and Warren fans would have seen you over the years in um, different roles at different clubs. But yeah. maybe for those who haven't seen you, how, how do you describe yourself as a player? Um, yeah, I think I've already played Warren a few times. I don't think I've ever lost to them though. I've won every game against them. I scored a penalty against them a couple of years ago. But uh, yeah, obviously, I, hopefully, I can come bring some experience, um, some physicality as well, a bit of pace and power, and bravery really just want to take the ball and try to take players on and just try and make things happen um, and if I can bring that you know any 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 good form to this team hopefully you see a good player mm. and in terms of position for yourself obviously um, quite a physical player so I know he can he can play through the middle but yeah. in terms of maybe a front three maybe yeah. operate on hopefully, the left yeah. as well. hopefully whatever the manager decides I'll be ready to play wherever if called upon hopefully play up front or on the left that's where I've played the majority of my career and had a great time um uh, there, particularly at Newport and Colchester in recent years, played on the left or up front. So I'm an attacking player. I just want to be an option for the boys, and if I can help, that's the plan. Come here for the next few games uh, to the end of the season, and hopefully push for some more success. Mm. And Kenny Jacket, obviously an experienced manager. What what were your discussions coming into the club? Yeah, discussions were you know pretty brief and and clear. Uh, as a player, I think he's liked me over the years. You know, might have been an opportunity to. And go to his, one of his teams over the years, but uh, recently I played against him last year. I was at Plymouth, he was Pompey, and uh, I think I played well and impressed him then. Obviously, you know, the opportunity, opportunity came to come here, just said, Look, come here, make your presence felt, and you know, help the team as much as you can. And it was always good to and nice to feel wanted. So for me, it's just relax, work hard, and showcase what I can do. And you know, all you can do is work hard, and that's all fans want to see. Hopefully, you can have some quality to add to that. So, hopefully, I can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm going in now to the last 20 or so games for the season, and the boys need to start a run, don't they? Yeah, of course. Yeah, listen, every team has runs. You know, I've been in enough clubs and seen enough up and down teams that have, you know, had success or not that had success. For us, you just got to move on as quick as you can. Um, hopefully, Saturday, that can bring, you know, a result that can be positive for us. And then lead on to Tuesday as well. The game's going to come thick and fast now. It's the business end of the season now. So it's not about how, how things look. It's all about getting the results and trying to push. Because I still think playoffs is an achievable thing. Because um, uh, we're playing all the teams in around us. So at the end of the day, we've just got to take points off them and hope that they, they fail in their games. Brilliant. Well, Frank, nice welcome to Leighton Orient. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the pitch soon. Top man. Cheers.